in Arkansas, it's all about farming and football. From peewee to high school to college, weekends are made for football in the natural state. Now U of A, they run the state. The Razorbacks have been a staple. They play in arguably the best conference in America. Then you have A-State. The Red Wolves have been a solid squad for years and have made a name for themselves in the Sun Belt Conference. But then there's a small school. Nobody's really even heard about them. It's Arkansas A&M University. They're known for their agricultural program. If you're looking to become a farmer, this is the school for you. But thanks to a huge donation from former students Michael Donaldson and Lance Smith, two major Arkansas farmers, A&M has laid a foundation to develop a top-notch sports program. First, president of the school, Lisa Miller, wanted to build a state-of-the-art stadium that could house big games and major events. Then came a mascot, something that embodies the state and strikes fear in their opponents. School officials went to the past and decided on the Bear, since Arkansas was known as the Bear State. Two years later, the construction of the stadium was complete. Welcome to Bear Den Stadium, a billion dollar facility that will house not only Arkansas A&M athletics, but Arkansas High School State Championships. We have a mascot and now we have the stadium. Now it's time to build the team. For months, officials have been interviewing potential football head coaches, but one man stood out. Former Conway High School football coach Randy Thomas. He led his team with six straight state championships, including last season, led by his twin sons, Randy II and Robert. Now, there was a lot of back and forth between coach and the school, but finally, both agreed to a five-year deal. Now, things are coming together. Arkansas A&M has started their football program. The Sunbelt Conference reached out and offered membership, and A&M gladly accepted. Now they're in the same conference as one of their in-state rivals, Arkansas State. But there's one big problem. We don't have any players. And as the season gets closer, most of the players that we've been scouting, they've already committed. And thanks to a limited budget, scholarships were not an option right now. The only route we could go is walk-ons, Coach Thomas told the Conway Gazette. But the first two players to join the team, Coach knew very well, his sons. Randy II was an all-state quarterback in high school, and Robert, at middle linebacker, was being recruited by Power 5 schools, but decided to build a program here at A&M with his father and his brother. We scoured the entire state of Arkansas and found some players that will help us grow as a program. Now it's time for the Bears to take the field. Welcome to the Arkansas A&M Dynasty. Yo, welcome back to the channel, fellas, and welcome to the new series, the Arkansas A&M Black Bears, the Bears for short. It's a team builder that I found, and I'm excited about it, man. I miss doing college football. And in the climate that we're in right now with college football up in the air still, I was like, yo, I got to bring the series back. So this is a team builder of guys that are nothing but walk-ons. This is going to be tough. So let's take a look at our roster, man, led by quarterback Randy Thomas II. Yes, this is the coach's son. He is a 57 overall. He's a three-star athlete in high school. He played baseball. He played basketball, and he led his uh, high school football team to a state title, uh, even though it was just seven on seven. Randy has 83 speed, 80 acceleration, 76 agility. Uh, the arm power is only a 75, and the accuracy is only a 68. Uh, but the legs, man, he can run the ball. That's what helped him lead the team to the, nat or to the state championship. He's 6'3", 215. And he's going to be the leader of this squad. At running back, we don't have much, man. Barrett Higgins, he's a 45 overall with 72 speed. Then you have Mark Smith. He's a 45 overall with 69 speed. And then Anthony McNa McNamara, say that three times fast. He's a 44 overall with 73 speed. So very slow at running back. Uh, if it was up to me, I would probably start McNamara just because he's a tad bit faster 
and his acceleration is a little bit better. At wide receiver, we're struggling. We have Joe Barnes. He's a 50 overall. He's a transfer, so he won't be able to play this year. Uh, but Keith Miller, he's a 6'2", 203-pound, uh, true freshman, 47 overall, 80 speed, 56 agility, and 66 acceleration. And the hands, best hands on the team, 61 overall. Then there's A.J. Thompson, the 6'2", 209-pounder from South Carolina, 46 overall, 74 speed. Then you've got Vic Johnson. He's 6'3", 203, 45 overall. He's the fastest wideout with 87 speed. Then you've got uh, Joe Edmonds, another transfer. This one's from California. He's a 42 overall with 66 speed. Good Lord. And then there's Eric Roberson uh, from Florida, 6'2", 199, 85 speed. Now, again, these guys are all walk-ons. Uh, we don't have any scholarship players on the roster right now. Uh, and the hands. Look at these guys' catching ability, man. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be a struggle bus for us this year. At tight end is Randy Gray, a 6'5", 250-pound freshman from California, 48 overall with 55 speed. Troy King, another freshman, 46 overall with 51 speed. I think uh, we're really going to be in trouble on the offensive line. Uh, Travis Mills and Andy West are transfers, so they won't even see the field this year at left tackle, right? Then at left guard, we got Josh Brown. He's a 44 overall, and his blocking traits are just awful, man. He cannot pass block. He's got decent run block with a 68, but his impact block is even worse with a 45. Because we don't have a left tackle right now, Tez Washington will probably play that position. He's got 55 pass block, 57 run block and a 58 in impact blocking. At center, David Riviero uh, is another transfer. He's from Utah, so he won't see the field. But Tyron Thompson will. He's a 6'4", 301-pound center, 63 pass blocks, 57 run block. But his impact block isn't bad, 66. At right guard, we've got Mike Lewis, 6'5", 274. 58 pass blocks, 64 run block. 56 impact blocking. And then rounding out the offensive line is Andre Tyree. 6'3", 290, 59 pass block, 55 run block. But he's got 79 impact block and 72 strength. On the defensive side of the ball, Lance Singleton is playing at left end. He's a 42 overall with 62 speed. Uh, the power move, finesse move, block shedding, non-existent. It's, this is going to be interesting, man. I don't know how we're going to win any games, man. This roster is tough. At right end, we've got Nick Barrow, a 49 overall, 59 speed. Power move, finesse, block shedding a little bit better. Then there's Adam Dickens, uh, 6'4", 258 freshman, 71 speed, 63 power move, 63 finesse, 72 block shedding. I might actually move him to the left side and give him some playing time. 71 speed, that's not bad for a DN. Then we've got David Nelson. 62 over, or 62 speed, 68 agility, 61 power and finesse move, 59 block shedding, and then it just gets worse. Our D tackle Jason Burns, he's a 47 overall. Brandon, Bla or sorry, Christian Givens is a 44 overall. Brandon Black is a 42 overall, and then you got Alvin James, he's a 41 overall. And outside linebacker Muhammad Nazir, he's a 43 overall, 75 speed, 77 acceleration. Uh, 57 tackle, 47 play wreck, can't get off a block, can't pursue, no zone coverage, no man coverage. Yikes. Then you've got Brent Davis, his backup from Alamo, Texas, 6'3", 220, 41 overall. Then we've got middle linebacker Robert Thomas. Yes, this is quarterback Randy Thomas's twin brother. He's a 53 overall with 77 speed, 80 acceleration, 74 agility, 66 tackling, 67 block shed, and a 63 in pursuit. Randy and Robert are going to be the cornerstones of this dynasty for the next four years, man. They're going to help us build to a team that we want to be in the future. The other outside linebacker is Travis, Travis Washington, 43 overall, 75 speed, 84 acceleration, 55 tackle, 49 block, or play rec, 47 block shed. A little better at zone coverage with a 63. Now for the secondary. <sighs> Travis Gibson, a 45 overall, 82 speed. He's got 58 man coverage, 58 zone, 54 press, 64 catching. Then there's Travis Baldwin, 
186, 77 speed, 83 acceleration, 84 agility, 55 man, 61 zone, and a 54 with the press. Joey Douglas, 78 speed, 82 acceleration, 82 agility, 54 man, 55 zone. And last but not least, Jason Davis, 84 speed, 87 acceleration, 76 agility, 56 man, 54 zone, 41 press. Yikes. At free safety is Steve Brown, 6'3", 212 from Florida, but he is slow, 67 speed, guys. But he could come down and lay the hat. He's got 74 hit power, 75 pursuit. Uh, he's got great press, great jumping ability, but his zone coverage is a 40 and his man coverage is, I'm sorry, his zone coverage is a 44 and his man coverage is a 40. Then we've got Adam Keller from Mississippi, 73 speed, 85 acceleration, uh, 42 man, 43 zone, 59 play rec and a 71 hit power. Uh, at strong safety is Jerome Williams, a 48 overall with 75 speed. He's got 57 tackle, 46 man, 43 zone, 60 play rec, and 64 hit power. Jay Newell, another freshman, man, 6'1", 185, 78 speed, 85 acceleration, 50 tackle, 45 man, 48 zone, 54 play rec, 58 hit power. Special teams, Joseph Moore. He's a 60 overall with uh, 63 kick power, 58 accuracy. Uh, and then our best player is our senior kicker, Greg Lawson, a 93 overall. Uh, and he's got a strong leg, 93 kick power, 95 accuracy. So that's our roster. It's built around the twins, Randy Thomas and Robert Thomas. Uh, these two are going to be, uh, like I said, cornerstones for this dynasty and for this team going into the future. Uh, it's going to be a rough rebuild, man. And the schedule isn't easy. So Arkansas A&M is a part of the Sun Belt Conference, and we will be playing both Arkansas squads. We kick things off with a trip to Utah to take on the number 12 Utes. Then we go and take on uh, the Swine, the Arkansas Razorbacks in Fayetteville. We got a week off and get our first home game in this, and our first Sun Belt Conference game take it on Troy then we take on Georgia State hit the road for four straight games taking on Texas State Louisiana Lafayette a state ULM we get a bye week come back and play uh, South Alabama head out to take on the Aggies of Texas A&M return home to take on Idaho got another week off and wrap up the season against New Mexico State uh it's going to be a tough one, man. We're looking to get more money into the program. That's why we're hitting the road early, taking on Utah. Uh, bringing in that money is going to help us be able to give scholarships out to different players. They offered us $2 million to come and play, and we had to do it. Arkansas, they're going to be our rival. Arkansas and Arkansas State are our two rivals. We're going to be in recruiting battles with those two teams for in-state players. We want to be the school that players want to stay in in state to play at and that's going to be our goal we want to be able to outshine both of the arkansas squads and uh you know this year we probably won't be able to do it but give us two or three years and we're going to run the state so i want to have a little fun with this dynasty guys and we're going to do a random playbook every year so i'm just going to start scrolling and where this bad boy stops that's the playbook we're going to play with so i'm gonna close my eyes I'm going to go in three, and I'm going to go in two, and I'm going to go in one, and stop. We're running the Oregon State offense. Okay. I think they're a pass-heavy team, so that should be interesting. They're a spread team for sure. And for our defense, uh, let's do it. And three, and a two, and a one, and stop. The 4-3 defense, let's go. I'm okay with that. That's the defense I normally run anyway. So every year, at the end of every year, we'll pick a new playbook and we'll run that, man. And before I get out of here, I just want to show you guys the sliders I'll be using. I think these are uh, the ones that everybody in the community is using right now. All Heisman everything. Fatigue, injuries on six-minute quarters, play clock, game speed is normal. 
We got the threshold at 25. Home field advantage and ice the kicker are on. Game rules. I'm got to bring. I'm gonna bring clipping down because they call that all the time. Um. Yep. So offsides, false start, holding, everything else, man. I, again, I, th I think this is what everybody's using. Uh, custom AI. Here are the user AI. Uh, we've got 10 accuracy for, or we got 10 accuracy, 10 pass blocking. Wide receiver catching is on zero. Running ability is on 40. Uh, run blocking is on 20. Pass coverage and interceptions are on 40. Rush defense is 25. Tackling is on 30. Field goal power is 45. Punt power is 45. Accuracies are both at zero. And kickoff power doesn't really work. Uh, for the computer sliders, a lot more difficult, man. 10 accuracy, 70 pass blocking, 70 catching, run abilities up to an 85, run blocking is a 60, pass coverage is 15, interceptions is 50, run defense is 60, uh, tackling is at 70, 45 and 50 for power and accuracy on field goals, and 45 and 40 for punt power and punt accuracy, and again, kick power is broken. So just a little background as we move forward with this dynasty, uh, you will see it probably three times a week. Uh, there will be no, like how I did with Grambling State, there's no Tigers Den podcast or anything like that. Uh, there will be a recruiting special uh, probably halfway through the season. I'll keep you guys up to date with anything that's going on with recruiting uh, as we go along after every game, like every other game. Um, if you guys have any questions about a ros the roster or anything like that, always jump in the comments or hit me up in Discord or hit me up on Twitter. I'll be glad to answer that for you guys. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are probably going to ask if I'm doing uh, created players or created recruits. Uh, probably going into probably season two or season three. That's something we could talk about. Uh, I already have a dynasty uh, that I'm streaming every Monday or every Wednesday on Twitch. Uh, so make sure you guys come check that out. I'm probably going to do a lot of uh, custom recruits over there. And then we stream a dynasty on Saturday mornings where I put a lot of custom recruits in there too. So um, yeah, man, this is going to be a fun dynasty. I hope you guys are excited. I know I am. I'm excited to bring college football back to you guys. And uh, we've got a lot of great stuff coming with this A&M squad, man. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, if you guys are excited make sure you smash that thumbs up button subscribe if you're brand new don't forget to ring that bell join the noti squad hit those links down in my description follow your boy on facebook twitter and ig and yo make sure you guys go join that discord because the discord saw everything first okay discord gets exclusive content discord is going to get a lot of exclusive stuff here in the next few months so make sure you guys head over there it's the link is down in the description man and we're going to holler at you guys from utah when we get ready to take on the number 12 utes have a great day guys two fingers in the air peace